In this video, I'll discuss the Fama French three factor model. This is one of the most famous multivariate asset pricing model. Since a multivariate linear model is quite similar, the single factor linear model, and I have posted four related videos. This video is very, very short. Topic number one. What is the Fama French three factor model? How to generate those three factor time series in the first place? From where to get the data? Topic number two, one example. Here I assume the following two part, two assumptions. First, you know how to run a linear model by using Excel. B. More importantly, you know how to interpret and replicate the result from A. If you don't, please watch the first two video list below. Below are four links. Simple Linear Regression Part 1 and Simple Linear Regression Part 2. From these two videos, I show how to run a simple linear regression and replicate part 1, part 2, and part 3 of the result. The video number 3 is a simple multivariate regression. The last one is CAPEN, kept asset pricing model. It's uh, related to the finance. It's famous asset pricing model in finance. It's a single linear fact, a single factor linear model. Here's the topic number one, part A. What is the Fama French three factor model? Recall that CAPEN, a single factor linear model, has the following format equation number one Ri equals risk free rate plus beta times Rm minus risk free. So Ri is the return of security I. Beta is the slope. It is also called a market risk. Rm is market return, such as SP500 return. Rf is risk free rate. Farmer French three fact model is simply an extension of CAPEN. So you see the first part, exact same on the right hand side, and we simply add beta SMB R SMB plus beta high minus low times R high minus low. So we have factor one, factor two, and factor three. Okay. R SMB small minus big is return of small portfolio minus return of big portfolio. R H high minus low is the return of the high book to market portfolio minus the return of low book to market portfolio. For the next slides, I'm going to de define what does mean small portfolio, high portfolio, and uh, how to calculate book to market portfolio. Okay, so actually that is related to the C part, C part. Okay. Many, many textbooks wrote this way. Okay, so actually, I use R as small minus big. Many textbooks write this way, small S and B. So actually, this one is mean return. Later, I'm going to show you equation 2. Conceptually, equation 2 is much, much clearer compared with equation number 3. How to generate those small minus big and high minus low factors? There are three steps. Step one, we classify each stock as a big stock or small stock. So at the end of each year, December, we calculate market capitalization for each stock. Market capitalization equals stock price times share standing. Then we rank all the stock list on the New York Stock Exchange.
based on market capitalization, we calculate the median. When the stock market capitalization is below this median, it is called a small stock. Otherwise, it is a big stock. So after step one, we have two groups, small stock group and big stock group. Step two, we calculate book value of equity over market value of equity. So we calculate a, a ratio each year. Step three, based on this ratio, for each group, we can divide it into three subgroup. For example, for the small stocks, based on this book value equity divided by market of equity, we can classify them into L, low ratio, bottom 30%, high, top 30%, and median group, and the rest. So based on the size, we have two groups, small group and big group. Based on the book to market ratio, we have subgroup, low, median, and high. Thus, eventually, we have six portfolio. So this is small low, small median, and small high. For big star, we have big low, big median, and big high. The return, the portfolio return for small minus the big is simply the average of portfolio return through small high, small low, and small median minus average of three big stocks portfolio return. High minus low is simply too high portfolio return, the average of too high portfolio return minus average of too low portfolio return. We, we can get the data from Professor French Data Library. So we simply type French Data Library. Then here is the Can French Data Library. Just click here. So this is the Professor French Data Library. Okay. So we're going down here. So this is the three factor model. Okay, we choose most used the frequency is monthly. So this is TXT CSV. So let's choose CSV. This is monthly time series. Then we are going to have a zip file. So this is a zip file. So we'll click here, then usually I right click, I copy to C temp. So we copy to C temp and just double click. So this is the data we are going to use. Okay. So usually the first thing I ask my student to do is if we're going down, control end, you will see so this is a uh, annual because we are going to use only monthly. So just delete all this menu. Okay, the annual data okay. from here and just delete it. Delete all this annual data. And before I do anything, usually I save. So I will save. So I called FF3 monthly. And I use save as Excel file. Okay. So next thing I'm doing, I'm going to copy, copy this four column. So each number divided by 100. The reason is there's always some student treat this one as, for example, if we're giving a number 0.1, okay, 
So return is 0.1. What does it mean? So actually it means 10%. Okay, it means 10%. When I ask my student to download the data directly from Professor French Data Library, they got all this value. They didn't divide by 100. They simply treat this one 2.96. If you don't divide by 100, it's actually it's mean 296%. I use this read free read as an example. Okay. When we when I ask students to run capital asset price model of farm French three factor model, if they divide by so that is divide by read free read. If they don't divide by 100, so actually 0.22, actually it means 22%. How can uh, something is 22% per month? If they use this one, then they, they got a beta is so close to zero. Because the risk free rate dominate any return. Please pause this video to get the data. Method number one. If you are taking my course right now, type dot get data. I'm going to show this first method. Method number two. If you know R, just issue the following one line R code. Method three. Alternatively, you can download a CSV file or Excel file. If you are taking my course right now, you have a easy way to get data to Excel. Simply type dot get data. Here we we are we trying to run an example to combine IBM monthly with Pharma French three fact monthly. Okay, so we are going to use this function show IBM monthly. Then we are going to show next one show FF three monthly. And also we are, we are going to use cut data. We are going to use five years data. Okay. So if for the show, IBM, a okay, monthly. So if we don't enter any value, it will show the first, it will show us first two observation. Okay. So if we enter negative three, it's going to show us the last three observations. So total we have 701, 701 observation. Okay. So if we enter zero, then it will ask us to launch Excel to paste the paste is there. If we launch Excel paste there, we are going to paste 701 observation there. Okay. Now we are going to use cut data. Okay. So this is cut data. Uh, we use 2015 and 2019. Okay, we are going to use five years data. Next one, we are launch Excel and we paste it there. So we paste it. So this is our five years data. 15. The ending period is here, December 1st, 2019. So this is our data. Okay. We do exact same things. We go back to the R, just type show, three factor, monthly. We enter zero. Then we cut data again. Going back to Excel, and we paste our data here. So this part for the IBM, so this part from a French three-factor model. Now we have the data. We are going to run from a French three-factor model. Okay. Again, we are going to use adjust closing. So this column is relevant. And we're going to high some column high, and we don't need this one, and we just hide them as well. Okay. And first one we calculate return. So this is return. 
So this is IBM's return. Okay. So this is IBM. So return equals. So this is monthly adjusted divided by previous month minus one. So this is return. Okay. So actually, this column is y. So this is y. So these three column are x. Okay. So these are x. So this is y. Y. Okay. And uh, to, because I'm going to use the label, okay, I'm going to post here. So this is IBM's. We use as y, x1, x2, and x3. So I'm going to get the value here. We are going to run a linear equation. Okay, so this is y, m colon is y, these three colon are x. Okay. To run a linear regression, we click data on the menu bar. Then click data analysis on the right hand side. And we choose regression. First one we choose return. Control shift down. Then we choose Y, sorry, X column, three column. Control shift up arrow key. So Y column is from M2 to M61. X range from N2 to P61, so check labels, and suppose we want output here, then click OK. So this is our output, okay. So this is alpha, this is beta 1, beta 2, and the beta 3. So beta 1 is for the market beta, and beta 2 Shutterstock Music.